A total eclipse of the sun is one of the coolest celestial events. And on Monday, we'll see one cross North America passing over Mexico, the United States and Canada. OK, so while our area won't experience a total eclipse, the show is still going to be pretty good. Yeah, the chief top the shut headed to the US Naval Observatory to talk to the experts about the celestial phenomenon. We're at the Naval Observatory, Northwest DC. Why? April 8th, big day, partial solar eclipse in the DMV. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of questions. So let's go ask Jeff Chester. He's a public affairs officer here at the observatory. So these are some old books here dating back to the 15th, 16th century. Mm -hmm. When and who uh, knew that we had eclipses? Well, the ancients knew that we had eclipses. Uh, there is some evidence that the people that built Stonehenge mm -hmm. built it as a very primitive eclipse computer. So, in a broad sense, why do we have eclipses? Well, we happen to live on a planet that has a large moon that goes around it. Um, and that moon is relative to the Earth, it's fairly big. But the unique thing about ours is that the moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun. But the sun is 400 times further away than the moon. So we have this really unique situation where the apparent diameters of the moon and the sun are very nearly identical. And with these distances and dimensions, when the moon passes in front of the sun, it'll block all of the sun's visible surface. The sky will turn to twilight as the moon temporarily completely darkens and shades some parts of the Earth. And most spectacularly, we can see the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona. And that's this pearly glow that you'll see diffusing away from the sun. Jeff says some of the other phenomena you can see during a total eclipse include Bailey's beads effect and the diamond ring effect. While we won't see these effects in our area because we'll have a partial eclipse, you won't be disappointed as long as the skies are clear. The eclipse will be visible between 2 and 4.30 p.m., with the key time being at 3.20 when the sun, 87.4% covered by the moon. And to see the eclipse safely, you must wear special eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. So 2017, we had a partial eclipse. Right. Can we wear the same glasses? Yes. As long as they have the same certification from ISO or CE stamped on them, they should be good to go. And experts say don't be tempted to use welder's glass or a welder's helmet because most of those won't block the sun's harmful infrared light, which can damage your eyes. It's a very fleeting kind of phenomenon. Anyone who has seen one, I can almost guarantee will never forget the sight. It's pretty spectacular. Now this eclipse is also special because it's the longest total solar eclipse we've had in the lower 48 states in several decades. And if you don't get a chance to see this one, you're gonna have to wait and see the next one across the US. Top or shut, WSA 9. Now that is cool. Now how long do they last again? So when we go out there, we're watching for it. How yeah. long is the show, if you will? It varies. So for us, since we're not under totality, it's mm -hmm. a little bit of a longer process. It starts okay. right around 2.04. We're halfway there at 2.45. But then really, when you want to be outside to see yeah. that maximum partial eclipse that we'll get, where nearly 90% mm -hmm. of the sun is blocked, that's right around 3.20 in the afternoon. Okay. This is interesting because we'll be we'll be looking, mm -hmm. right, with our glasses. But, like, how do you do that and take a picture at the same time? You just literally hold your phone up to the sky and hope you capture something? I, I think so, although I will say I bought uh, super cheap on Amazon, a filter. You can put a specific filter over your camera's oh, uh, lens okay. that apparently oh, takes better pictures. Filter. Okay. Um, You're going to send us that link? I was going to say, I, filter I got you guys. on Amazon. I need to go, and you can practice. I need to practice maybe okay. tomorrow when the sunshine is out. Um, because, right, it's such a fleeting yeah. moment and yeah. you want to try and capture it. But everyone I've talked to who photographs events like this says, forget the camera. Camera. Just look at Just it. Look it at really it. is that memorable. Wow. Be present. Okay. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> Another fantastic. Another phenomenon, right? Yeah. Can't wait. Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. And by the way, we're excited, as you can tell, for the eclipse on Monday. <laughs> and you know who has you covered? 
Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath, McGrath. <laughs> traveling to the path of totality. So you're going to have a remarkable show, yeah. huh? She's she's going to have live reports from Erie, Pennsylvania all day. And while Caitlin is in Erie, meteorol meteorol, uh, you know what? <laughs> Caitlin <laughs> is going to be in Erie. <laughs> Meteorologist Michaela Lucero will be on the National Mall at one of several eclipse viewing parties in the area. Now we said it. We can put some other watch parties together right there on your screen. You can see all these places you can go, right? The National Mall, the Observatory Park in Gaithersburg, Gateway Park in Arlington, the University of Maryland, just to name a few. Yeah, and if you want to see a full list of all the events in our area, we've made it easy for you. Just text Eclipse to 202-895-5599, and we will text you back with a link to that story.